is the more that we can narrow context, even if in the moment, but the more that we can be in a relaxed state, the more quickly we can solve problems. That's absolutely clear. It's clear that creativity is combining of existing rule sets, but also coming up with completely novel rule sets. When was the last time any of us took a walk and thought, how do I completely fracture my notions of, of the rules in a given domain mm -hmm. and, and think about truly new ones? It's hard to do. But once you set the, for lack of a better word, the intention around that, I do believe that when you enter sleep states, that the brain tries to solve the most important problems that are happening in your daily life. You have all the necessary rule sets to complete all the demands of your daily life, from parenting to podcasting to running your clinical practice and on and on. And so you know how to toggle between those. You know not to apply one rule set in the wrong context and you just go, 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 go. And there's an energetic cost to that. When we are singularly focused on one context, even if it's one conceptual context, you still have the same amount of total neural architecture. Right. Now it's just concentrated. Just devoted to that. I mean, I still have images burned in my brain of neural tissue looking that I was viewing down the microscope. I can close my eyes and still see it. Now, I don't have a, a I'm not, um, you know, photographic memory. I don't have a photographic memory. I, I used to have an audiographic memory where I could turn on a recorder in my head and then I could listen back to those conversations in the evening, a very uh, dangerous uh, thing to have actually. And, and to get into an argument with me at that time was no good, but the, uh, cause I, I could remember what you said, I lost that ability. And I think I lost that ability, not because I truly lost it, but I'm thinking about other things now. Now that was kind of a useless ability, frankly. I think ultimately being fairly narrow context and being able to access these, these broader rule sets and come up with new rule sets is incredibly powerful. Now there are certain states of body and mind that favor this creativity process, if we can call it that. Even though our ability to be gritty and to survive allows us to access a number of important rule sets, we know based on the relationship between stress and survival that those rule sets and, and the prefrontal cortex, that those rule sets, excuse me, are constrained, right? So I put you into a dangerous situation where you need to protect your family. You're going to figure it out. I trust you. I know that. I know you're going to work it out. But I also believe that there is a state of love that is associated with access to a much broader rule set and creative rule set. And how do I know this is because it underlies our evolution as a species. The number of different things that you can do to access survival if you're taking care of your family is immense, but the number of different adaptations that you can come up with in order to raise your children to be as happy and healthy as they can be out of love is absolutely infinite. Why? Because it really is, there's no other option. You're not fearing death. What you're doing is you're trying to access this landscape of you want them to be as great as they can be. You don't know how great they can be. That's the infinite rule set. And so the not, not having constraints on what the outcome is, is really the way to access expanded rule sets. It's very clear that the, the accessing these brain centers that have full understanding of internal state and then full understanding of past, present, and future, that is absolutely the best state to be in in order to access expanded rule sets and ever expanding rule sets. Whereas anytime I'm accessing knowledge about internal state, but it's constrained by outcome, I need this not to happen you've already shut down a number of rule sets, right? So anytime, so, and this is why I think in dreaming, we, we aren't constraining our rule sets. We all wish we could, but we're not constraining our rule sets. It could be a nightmare. It could be the best fantasy we've ever had. You can fly all these things. The rule sets are infinite, but constrained by experience. We are, we're not aware yet that we can dream about things in a way that does not reflect what we've already experienced. We might be able to, we don't know enough about sleep and dreaming yet. The idea here is that placing one's mind and body into states of love, or um, we could also think anything that doesn't include a but not that is an expanded rule set. The moment I, I decide what's appropriate and inappropriate behavior, I've now started to constrain the rule sets. Okay, so we can go around and around this circle as much as we want or as little as we want. But I think that once people start to understand what places their body and mind into the most relaxed and quote unquote open state for accessing new rule sets, 
the more quickly we can solve problems. That's absolutely clear. Or if I give you cognitive tasks and I just ramp up your level of autonomic arousal, and we do this in my lab, or there are any number of different ways to do this, you can function up to a point, but it's mainly dependent on how well you have performed that thing in the past. I give you something novel, I switch the contingency, I give you the kind of a, a more advanced Stroop type task, everybody cliffs. I don't care if you're a SEAL Team 6 guy, I don't care if you've run three countries, I don't care if you've parented 12 kids on your own, your rule sets are constrained. And so I throw something novel at you under conditions of even mild stress and you break down. I throw something novel at you under conditions of relaxation and you can pull from what might even seem like ridiculous rule sets and you can start solving problems. And humans do this exceptionally well. And so I think that the more we can narrow context, as you said, medical school or math or parenting, whatever it is, the more that we can narrow context, even if in the moment, but the more that we can be in a relaxed state and ideally a state of something of wanting, not avoiding, the more rule sets we can access. And I think that's where creative solutions come from. I mean, I have to imagine that even though he's a brilliant engineer, that Elon wasn't thinking about going to Mars because he hated Earth. He's thinking about it because he loves the idea of going to Mars. Now, I'm not his psychologist, but I think every major advancement in human evolution has largely been largely from a desire for something as opposed to an avoidance of something else.